Hey guys, Leanne here, back with a video for you today. So I asked you on my Instagram if you wanted to see a flip through of the pen pal junk journal I made and there was an overwhelming amount of yeses. Um, I think I got two no's and like 52 yeses or something. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I like to do polls now that they have the poll feature in my Instagram stories. So don't forget to check those out if you want to vote on content. Um, because who doesn't want to vote on content? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to flip you around and show you what's inside of here, what papers I've included, and then at the end there's about four minutes or so of me working in the journal. So without further ado, let's flip you around and get into it. Okay. So this is the Happy Mail journal that I put together, the junk journal that I made. Let me make sure nobody's address is showing. <laughs> so, oh, hold on. So, um, if you didn't see my Instagram story of this, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, the other day when I was getting ready to go house sit, uh, I was procrastinating and I had a bunch of pen pal letters that I needed to answer and I decided to make a junk journal. So this cover is just a recycled cardboard and duct tape basically that I have bound seven signatures into. My plan is to keep my pen pal letters that I need to respond to in the front and then ones I need to journal about just tucked in the back here. Hopefully that'll keep me more organized and now I'll be able to journal about all of the letters and goodies I receive without bulking up my other journal as much. So I'm just going to take you through. I literally pulled stuff out of my recycle bin and put it in here. So it's a mix of a little bit of everything. This is some drawing paper. I pulled some uh, random magazine papers out. This is a envelope that somebody sent me some mail in. Um, scrapbook paper. This is an envelope. So the way I bind envelopes in is I undo them and then stitch it in and then I'll just glue that back up and it becomes an envelope in the middle of the signature. Uh, this is the other side of that Happy Mail envelope, but it has addresses on it. <laughs> um, magazine, more drying paper, ledger paper. I had a student loan summary that came in this, so I took that out of my recycle bin. It's just a giant envelope. Um, this is a really cool uh, like calendar date book that my aunt gave me as I was walking out the door, like a vintage one, so I threw some of those in there. More magazine images. This is some really cool um, typography paper that she gave me as I was going out the door too. More ledger paper. This, I was toying around with the idea of making colored journaling spots for you guys and I did not like how they all came out. So I had shoved it in my recycle bin and then I pulled it out to put in this journal. <laughs> More magazine stuff. Here's another one of just the envelopes I pulled out of the recycling bin. This the other side of it, which I should have cut right there so I can open it. There we go. Good job, Leanne. Um, there's the other side of that. Then this middle signature literally only has two papers in it because I couldn't have an even number of signatures. I had to have five or seven and I couldn't take one away because I loved them all. So there's like a, a fake placeholder signature in here and it, it makes my brain happy. <laughs> so um, this was just like, excess mop-up paper or whatever you want to call it, which I had in my recycle bin, so I threw that in there. Some more vintage paper, magazine. This is another vintage paper, which I thought was cool. More envelopes. So 
yeah, I'm really excited to start working in this. I don't know if I'll keep it chronological or not. Probably not. It doesn't matter as much. Um, these are clipped together because of addresses, but it's just um, the paper insert that went in that big giant envelope here. That was good. I flipped right to it. <laughs> and then scrapbook paper, so that's what those are. My credit card envelope. More envelopes. So yeah, like I said, um, I'm not sure if I'll work chronologically in this or not, but I'm really excited to get started on that. Alrighty guys, so I did do some journaling in here. I pulled out Happy Mail that I hadn't put into my regular journal yet. I'm not going to go all the way back um, from the beginning, obviously, and journal things, but I did what I could. So that little pocket I put in the back, I'm just going to, it's like a fold out letter thing that I got from one of my pen pals. And I'm going to write my favorite pen pal questions in there so that when I'm writing a letter, I can just reference that instead of using Google every single time. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, doing that. And then I stuck a card that was uh, said fries before guys on it on the other page that was from somebody else. And I really, really loved that card. I thought it was hilarious. Um, so I put that on there and I had Tiny attached a tab to it. Then here what I'm doing is, this is a piece of drawing paper, so I knew it could handle a little bit of abuse. I put the um, Wild Honey Distress Oxide on there and did some stamping, and now I'm journaling about my pen pal journal with Jenny. Uh, I really like how the page came out that I did for her. So I took a picture of that and I'm going to put it on there. Um, I would have put one of the one she made in there too, but I had already sent her the journal back, so I'll have to wait um, for that, for her to send it back to me. And I just folded the corner of her letter over so that it would indicate to um, kind of pull it up there. And I'm just journaling with bits from my pen pal bucket. I'm not exclusively journaling with things that came from that person, um, but it all works, you know. So then I took this card from a different pen pal and she had put some awesome stickers on the envelope. So I cut um, the back of the envelope off and made this cool pocket and I peeled off one of the stickers from the front that I really loved and put it on the back. And then I just used some of her bits um, behind there. Now I'm working on the front cover. This is usually not something I do. but. Uh, because this is a themed journal, I wanted to make it pretty, kind of. Um, plus, I'm going to be looking at the front cover a lot, obviously, to answer pen pals. So, I took stuff, a lot of this is from my pen pal, Beck, in Australia. Uh, she sent me these awesome doilies and those star things that you've been seeing me use everywhere. She also made, gave me this moon paper clip, which I am so in love with. I'm glad I finally have a place to put it. Um, she sent me that too, which I stapled into my regular journal. And she made me this library pocket, which I'm going to use as like a start date holder um, and journal on the card about what the journal is about. Cause like I said, I don't usually do themed journals. Now I'm just working out where I want to put things. I did do some extra journaling in it, which you'll see when I flip through it, but I didn't film that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me working in this more, let me know and I'll throw it into my creative week or whatever. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Someone did request um, that I show you how I made this journal, which I will be doing but it won't be um, for a couple of weeks because I already have all my videos scheduled up until then. And I'm not home. It's really something I need to be home for to have all my supplies. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. 
so you can participate in the polls about content and stuff. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.